We are jumping in with a predicament that we face each and every May, and that is what to gift mom and how to show her how much she truly means to us. That's sort of the impossible task, but we do our best. And today we are helping you turn to the five love languages to direct our gift giving efforts with something for every personality type. This is a good way to do it. Uh, Telsa Welch is here to break down these categories for us and give us suggestions to help share a gift that hits the mark. We, I feel like we're standing in a magazine layout or a Pinterest post. Like, what is happening? This looks amazing. Thank you. Yeah, so we just kind of um, bonded together some of my vendor friends, and I'll tell you more about that later, but it's just kind of a fun way to show different ways to appreciate mom yes. based on her unique attributes. It's really a good way in because you, every year we do, we kind of tap our finger and think, what am I going to give her? What does but, she not have? Right, or? and we often talk about these five la love languages as they affect our marriages or we've even come to apply them to our children. But this is a really sweet way to do it. What is your mother's love language and how can you show up for her in that way? Right, right. So for me, the first um, love language is gift giving, receiving gifts. Perfect. And that's like 100% me. But it doesn't <laughs> you know, have to be a grand gesture. It yeah. can be just something little, like I thought of you, I love you, and I, I did this for you. So obviously flowers are an easy gift to give. Yeah. Anyone can call a florist and say, I want to spend X amount of dollars, make a beautiful bouquet. This is my wife's favorite color. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But did you know you can also just go to your local Costco or Trader Joe's? And this was just one bouquet of tulips. It was $7.99. And you broke it up. And you break it up into three bud vases. And yeah. that can be grandma, mom, your favorite aunt, a teacher. You know, it doesn't have to be a huge gesture. So maybe shy away from the bouquet and think of something a little more personal or right. creative. This is a really fun, nice, high-end diaper bag that is, you know, for a new mom, so you can go big, it can still be meaningful, like you have a baby, it has a lot of fun pockets, and then they have um, a lot of options as far as like her favorite lip gloss, it's a couple dollars. Pair any of these with a handwritten note and she is gonna feel so loved. She's gonna feel like you did it, you, yes. you hit the mark. Yes. The note makes everything win. I know, I think so I too. Think. Okay, my love language is words of affirmation, so speaking okay, of that so note. That note yeah. yes. So it's always easy to write a note and really take a minute to say, this is what I love about you, mom. Mm -hmm. We all get the, um, for years, you know, I got all the cute little things my son would write, <laughs> all the things he loved about me. And the first year I didn't have a son in elementary school, I really missed it Yeah. because I don't get this. I mean, my sons aren't gonna craft a little note for me, but a note for mom. One year my kids heart, um, heart attacked my door and they just wrote what they loved about me on the hearts. Yeah. So it can just be something simple and just really meaningful. Yeah, I think to some extent, all women are words of affirmation, like it's whether it's the first grade chicken scratch or right, a more thoughtful, loving note from an adult daughter. Those words mean so much. Really, they do. Okay, what about physical touch? What would you suggest gifting a mom whose love language is physical touch? So this is a fun one. I mean, I love hugs, and my boys are always like, okay, mom. And I always <laughs> say the eight-second hug, which is a little awkward, but. I think it's seven-second, but you went to eight. I went to eight. I'm <laughs> extra, I'm up. extra, right? I love it. <laughs> no, but uh, so a well-placed hug, a kiss on the cheek, but something I've been thinking about, you know, we always text and call it so easy, yeah. but an in-person visit mm. to give that hug in person. And something else I thought of is, um, uh, when my brother passed away, a friend gave me a minky blanket. And mm. she said, you know, when your brother can't hug you, Aww. you can wrap yourself in the blanket and yeah. it will remind you of him. And I, I loved that. I yeah. treasured that. So that's also a fun idea, a soft blanket for mom. Something to, tactile yes, or to touchable. Touch, to, you know, kind of substitute when you can't be well, there. Well, once someone puts meaning to that in the form of those beautiful words and thoughtfulness, right. like it think just, of your brother, think of a hug. I know. You'll do that forevermore every time you see and pick up that object. Right. Exactly. Really sweet. Really sweet. Okay, I think a lot of moms can relate to appreciation acts of service. Like this should be just built it to Mother's Day, right? <laughs> right, like I don't want to do anything. <laughs> but yeah, acts of service. I mean, kids, I, I mean, I'm sure you've received the famous coupon books. Oh yes, like, you know, only I use the coupons. Oh. I do, I, I use you, them. You've been, you, you, oh yeah, turn them in. Oh yes, for sure, I redeem. <laughs> yeah, so it's fun. I, this is a picture of my son in first grade. He invited us to school and they did like nail polish and all these acts Cutie. of service on the moms. Yeah. Older kids can babysit younger kids. You could gift a spa gift card or go just something fun together that serves your mom. All of these different ideas are fun. So cute. Okay, and finally, our last category is the mom who values quality time. Yes, and I think the older my kids get, I'm kind of transferring to this more because they're just so busy. I'll go days without really getting that quality time. 
So go do something together, make a memory, have an experience, go see a play, go go to Thanksgiving Point Gardens, just go do something and spend really quality time together. Yeah, think of those things. A helpful approach to being more thoughtful about what we're giving our mothers and why. Now a little more about your event this weekend. This is a preview, tell me what's going down. Okay, so Saturday tomorrow from three to six at Baby Cubbies in American Fork. It is a Mother's Day celebration for moms um, of all ages and a lot of fun free things. All of these vendors have will have tastes um, where you can have cookies and cake and cake pops all for free. We have a photographer that's gonna take pictures of mom and whoever she brings with her. There's giveaways for Minky, some different things from Baby Cubby, um, flowers, there's bounce houses for kids. A lot of just, fun. It'll be beautiful and such a fun time together and well, a lot of memories made. Beauty for sure. I think this display is kind of proof, like proof in the picture of a powerful color palette. Like I'm reminded of two strong colors, right? Right. The magenta and the teal. So maybe some inspiration as well if you're putting together some sort of a Mother's Day tablescape at home. But thank you so much for the invitation to come out tomorrow. Good luck. Yes, and I'll tag all these vendors. They really do sell really affordable, customizable things for moms too. So okay. it's a fun way. Tessa, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah.